so he's going to fly around and hang out with Bruce. Okay, we're going to check in with Brad Perry. Are you nervous because you dressed up and you look great, Brad, and now you're getting ready to clean paint brushes? I, it is kind of scary because actually Rosie was here painting, and I was just splashing it all over the place. He's like, we got to get paint on the paintbrush here. Let me help him out. And he's like putting it all over the place and everything. But uh, no, we're going to learn some uh, tips here on cleaning our uh, paint brushes. And actually one thing that uh, Rosie and I were talking about, you can actually keep a good paintbrush for over 10 years. And he actually pointed out to one of his brushes, and it's m like 20 years old. Huh? Oh, yeah. I wanted to bring brushes that you could tell had been used. And uh, this brush goes back to uh, when me and my wife got married. That's the brush I used to paint our apartment. That's 20 years old in a week. <laughs> <laughs> so now, I mean, to keep brushes around, you're going to need to clean them. And you're going to show us how we clean them here and keep them for a long time. Exactly. A, a paintbrush is made with a hollow separator right down the middle. That gap in between the bristles is what holds the paint to, to distribute on the, through, on the surface through the bristles. So it's that hollow place that we need to get clean. The way you do that is start with a warm stream of water and just rinse your brush till the water runs clean. Most people put their brush away at this point. What you need to do is curl your brush and you can see how much more paint I'm pulling out of the bristles. This is the difference between being able to keep a brush or like some homeowners, you know, they'll buy a brush, throwaway version. They shed like a dog. The, brush, the, the bristles get all over your painted project. It's nice how you use your hand. I mean, a lot of people go in there and they'll bang it down on the bottom of the sink there. You should always use your hand to keep it. Yeah, don't, don't daub like that. that. That causes excessive wear on your bristles. But you do want to get a steel toothbrush. And you can get this in any paint store. This will bring any paint that's still buried in that separator out to the surface. Rinse it one more time. And the most important thing is when you're done, use the water in your fingers to comb everything. And the way you put this brush up right now is the way that brush is going to look when you pull it back out to use it in a month or two months, or me, next year. <laughs> or like Scott, he just goes out and buys them and throws them out like yeah, as soon as he's done. That, that throw away. But compact your bristles like that, and put it away a little damp. Now, most good paint brushes come with what's called a cardboard keeper, and they fold the flaps over and you tie the string off. Keep those as long as you can, but the brush will outlast that keeper if you take good care of it. Then I just wrap it up in a paper towel. And that keeps them right there. Go to the end of the bristles. Remember, however you're putting these bristles away is how it's going to look when you're done. Fold it like that, a couple pieces of tape, and you're done. Good for the next time you want to use your paintbrush. And if they want to find out more, they actually can take a look at the website, and you'll have tips on thinner and everything like that. And that's one thing, too. Make sure you talk with the city before you start disposing paint down the sink there. You can rinse a paintbrush down the sink. Don't pour excess paint down the sink. The city has special plans for getting rid of paint. Call them. All right, thank you very much, Rosie. So, Tara, there you go. So, when you come over to paint my house. <laughs> <laughs> right. Actually, tell Ro first of all, Rosie, congratulations. 20-year anniversary in about a week? Uh, March 25th. I'm just glad you know the date. That's pretty good, Rosie. Congratulations. Well, my wife made it the security alarm code to the house, so I never forget. <laughs> Smart woman. And, and I love that segment so much. I don't even paint, and I, I know everything now about cleaning a paintbrush. Well, let's have a paint party. Yeah, let's do. Okay. All right, I'll see you there. Great. It is.